Hi everybody! I am getting ready to remake my delicious mango soap. Today is the one year from when I made my first soap last year. So I've been making soap for one year now. Yay! I'm going to go ahead and get suited up with my gloves and my goggles and I'm going to get started. And of course gotta have my coconut flour, my finely ground oatmeal, and kaolin clay. Stir this a bit before I stick blend. Start. I am redoing my design. Well, only sort of redoing it. Last year, I attempted to make one of the Taiwan swirls, and then I learned you had to cut it different. And so I decided I'm going to come up with a way of making it look like a Taiwan swirl. But only it's a hanger swirl. So it's, it's a hanger swirl that is the a fake version of the Taiwan swirl. Because it's, it's, it's the way you do it. You do it with chopstick and the hanger. And basically you go up and down in it. And then across the long way. And it gives the impression of the Taiwan swirl. Without really being the Taiwan swirl. I came up with that. And I did it for the strawberry after I failed with the mango one. And so now I've actually added an extra color, so I'm gonna to attempt to do some layers and not make such a mess with all the dividers too, so that will help. Go work my blender. Now for my lye. I cover my lye water, I make it the night before so it's room temperature when I'm soaping. Here comes the lye with a touch of silk in it and the sea salt. Because this is my coconut recipe. I have uh, one of my soaps will, that I have with my lard and palm recipe will be cured next week. A week from today. And so I might be doing some lard recipes after that. Because my space for the ones with the coconut will be filled. I have a separate curing rack where I have labeled no coconut oil allowed, meaning that soaps made with coconut oil do not touch that shelving basket part. And the other two are, can use it with the coconut ones, but um, the ones that have the lard and the palm are coconut oil free for people who have allergies. And I just use the kaolin clay and the oatmeal in those instead of using the three with the coconut flour. Maybe one of these days I'll get some other um, wheat free flours for gluten free stuff and see which one has a nice texture like the coconut flour does and add some additives to that like that because it gives just a bit of a exfoliation. It's not rough when you feel it. I like the texture that it brings along with the qualities for the finely ground oatmeal and stuff. Now I'm going to stir this a little bit before I stick blend it and then add my heavy cream and my fragrance oil. It's a mango from Aztec but I call it delicious mango. That That is what this is going to be. I'm using a two pound mold, a one pound mold, my individual molds and if I have any left over, it's going into the tall and skinny, and it probably will make little bars and instead of having the tall and skinny filled up. This will bring it up to close to how much I had for, made for the others. It will give me 16 bars when I get done making this. And now for the heavy cream. My niece had left some heavy cream in mom's refrigerator and I was short and since she had left it in there, I confiscated it. I'm using it in my soap since it's just going to not be used much. Fragrance oil coming next. It is from Aztec and I love the smell. I got the cost revised one but I so I don't know if it smells the same as the the regular and if they're removing the cost revised one then I guess I'll get the regular next time 
if I run out. But uh, it's very yummy smelling. I think that's good to mix the colors and we'll start with the white And the neon orange, you don't want to get too much in one individually, so I'm trying to pour just a little and then top them off. I need to save some of the main batter. I like to have some of the main batter show what the, if it discolored. So I don't remember it does. It does it a little bit, I think. Not badly enough to affect too much of the color. I think I watched the vanillin content. Anything up to one and a one point two, one point five ounces, I go with. Anything over that, I stay away from, unless I'm wanting to try to put it in my design. Need a little bit more of the white. Now that's looking good. Put that aside. I'm going to stir these, and before I stick in. What I'm going to do when I pour it in here, I'm going to use the bottom of this thing here to pour it on top of. I didn't have a hanger swirl for the one pound mold, so I had to make a special one. And I had no fishing tubing here, so I got a temporary fix by getting a straw to put on the hanger. And the straw will work temporarily for today. Then after that, I'll you know, get some more tubing. I'm going from lightest to darkest. Tangerine Wow here. And the Red Raspberry from BC. Now, I'm done with the stick blender for now. These two are the ones I'm working with here. And I'm going to... Need to let it thicken some. Pour that in there. Put red on the bottom. Okay, for the next color, I chose this one. I'm gonna try to do it like this. White next. This might be a little bit different of a look. This is breaking through some. I, I'm too impatient to let it thicken. Yellow. These I get, I'm going to fill first before I do anything with filling the leftover bits into the other mold. Tangerine Wow will be next. Starting to thicken up better. This one here. Or red for this one. Making a mess. But soap making is messy.
those feel a bit more white in this one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, up and down. Like so. Cleaning that off. And the next part, of course, is for the chopstick. Now, see I went up and down, up and down, up and down. Now I'm going to go side to side. This way, this way, this way. Back and forth like this. For the swirl. And then I'm going to add some more to the top of this one. To make it all nice and pretty looking. And we're going to swirl this one here. And then go the same pattern up and down, straight up and down. Clean off my straw. That's the only time that straw is going to be used. Next time I'll be fixing it. And for chopstick, mirror, mirror, back and forth, back and forth. On to the top, at both, so we can have a nice pretty swirl on the top. I'm not doing any piping today, since I wanted this design, decided not to do any piping, because I don't have any embeds made up ahead. Finish with that one. This one could use some more from here. What that'll do to my design because it just went under. But have these two molds filled. This batter is still very fluid. A bit of white to make it pop. I'm going to do this little ziggy zaggy thing. A bit of darker red. And now for the very tippy top. Make a pretty little design going across the top. There we go with that. I need to redo that. A bit more white. A bit more red. And of course more white. And let's redo this. Go this way first. There we go. I like that. I'm going to put these two in their boxes to insulate them as soon as they set up a little bit more because they're still very, very fluid. All right. Bye now.